Thank you.
Well, good evening to you and welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football to which we look forward immensely. It's hardly a surprise that everybody has come here in their droves, this being a fixture that has received so much coverage in the days leading up to it. And it's good to see that we have a good contingent of visiting fans by the look of it too. The atmosphere is amicable, the conditions do bring out the best in everyone, and I think we're all looking forward to a feel-good game. Everything here truly black and white. Alvinegro, as the locals call it, inside this most impressive arena of football, the Arena MRV in Belo Horizonte. And from the team sheet, we derive that they are going with a 3-4-3 formation, Jim. Yeah, it's one of these systems, Peter, where the front three are obviously the headline makers, but the back three have considerable responsibility and pressure on them. So a strong voice is needed to keep everyone switched on to their defensive duties. Everybody has to kind of play their part in getting behind the ball at times. And it's not always done because the focus is very offensive. There's the whistle, and here we go. Pavon. Oh, he's trying to skip past his man. Kostic. And the counter is on. And that's a throw in. Bruno Fernandes. Figo. Figo! It's come back out! Now that is commitment to the cause. Knocks it away. Bruno Fernandes. Spread out to the left. Oh, he's found support out wide. And they've got a throw. Looking for options for movement. Paulinho. He's had a fair tumble under that challenge. Traumeri. Out to the left it goes. And Sufati, well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and, and get others into the match. Gets into some space. And that is out of play. And it's Eden Nielsen. Paulinho. Oh, 
facing up to his adversary. This is a formidable matchup. Stood up well to him there. And here's Lewandowski. Jemison defending his corner stubbornly. Stood up very well to his man. Mariano. Pedrinho. Over to the left. Now it's Pavon. And that has been clubbed away. Dumichelis did well to emerge with the ball. That's a contest to keep an eye on. Uh, that appeared to be an inevitable outcome. Too much. Can he put it away? A great save, real class. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Kunde. Here's Chomeni. No change to the score. Nil-nil it remains. Played out to the left flank. He's found the way through. Looking to go deep. Cleared away. Pavon with the clearance. And that's gone loose. And that's been levered clear. Could move up a gear here. Petrino. Pavon. He's gone away. Towering header. And he's there to get it away. Oh, no question, that's a foul. Nils Pedrinho just eases him off the ball. And there's green grass ahead of him. And he's heaved it away. And Sufati. Now then the ball's come loose. Mariano. Schwalmeri. Cabela. He is through here. To Bacelis. Now it's Figo. It's Lewandowski! And for a moment, time stood still. Really was just waiting to pounce on any slip-up, and he was gifted a chance. Pavon looks to get on the end of this. Oh, really good feet. Pass is just off target. And the referee brings the first half to a close. But it has been a half largely of could haves and should haves. Perhaps the more impatient amongst the supporters will feel their overdue a goal. But it's certainly not for the want of trying, so nothing to show as yet. At the break, it's nil-nil. So your views on the first half? Well, I think despite the scoreline, it's been watchable and enjoyable. We certainly had a, a vibrant start, and if we were going to see a goal, it, it should have come then. But the odds are favourable for, for this second half. Well, after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. That's the start of another 45 minutes. 
Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully they've been saved for the, the second for that. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Oh, he's taken it. Traumeri spread out to the left. Paulinho. And it's Edda Nielsen. And he's forced to go back. For Edda Nielsen. Pavon. He's shifting through the gears here. He's got the shot away! That is decidedly lacking. Kunde, and it's to Michalis. Now Cabela. Over to the other side. Kostic. Now it's Ansu Fati. Chouameni. Eden Nielsen. Out to the left it goes. Pavon. Well, it would have been harder to miss. Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much time and space. But I think you have to give credit where it's due. And it was a brilliant setup and finish. Atletico Mineiro draw first blood here. Oh, half time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Traumeri. Bruno Fernandes. Out to the right. Ball's gone out of play. Time then for the first substitution of the game. Eduardo Vargas coming on here. A change that was broadly anticipated. Yeah, he's looking for instructions, probably something along the lines of go make a nuisance of yourself. Substituição no time do Atlético Mineiro. Camisa 14. Alan Kardec. Figo delivers. Substituído pelo jogador. And he's had a hit. In for a header. And it's in. That is remarkable, all square in a matter of moments. Well, if ever you want to see a lesson in responding to a deficit, that's it. Their heads didn't drop, and now their chins are up. He won't get many simpler than that, but he's certainly not complaining. Well, I admire players who do that because they just don't give up on anything. So time for change, and this one has been on the cards for a little while. Yeah, they're looking for some imagination, and his job's going to be to add that element of craft and guile, the man pulling the strings. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, I think the players will be buoyed by the fact that they've managed to level things in a hurry. Tails, most... And the shot! Bebo. 
time. Excellent interception. Hops for safety. Pedrinho. And here's Vargas. That's great defensive work. It doesn't take too much imagination to guess what would have happened otherwise. Oh, I was on the edge of my seat then. He just took on one too many. He's looking to set free a runner. He's cut it out. Douglas Luis played out to the left flank. Oh, now here's an interesting matchup. Well, that looks a decent ball. Oh, what a pitch one! Oh, taken with style! That is how you do it! A goal to launch his new life, his new chapter! And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before and no doubt they'll work it again. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. So we have a breakthrough. Now how will things develop from here? No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Well, he's felt that, hasn't he? Lovely bit of skill. He's left his man. Atletico Mineiro really are showing all the necessary urgency, but it's potency they need. Marquinhos. To Douglas Luiz. And it's Neymar. Madison. That's Chiesa. Oh, the less said about that pass, the better. They may end up with some regret with this tactic, but you have to admire their commitment to goals. Well, the referee's pulled play back and has booked him for the original offence. It is just a question of running down the clock now. Madison. And it's Figo. Gets away from his opponent. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Oh, he'd have done well to reach that. Look, there has to be more urgency here. The ball has to get to the other end much faster. Eddie Nielsen. Tries to cut back. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Well, somehow they turned it round. Every ounce of energy, emotional, physical, mental, is spent. That is some win. And Shufati taking in the accolades, having been named man of the match, and deservedly so. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking?